Trouble turn off. two. Casey Mears. Ooh, gets tagged And nowhere hard. for Dale Earnhardt Jr. to go in that 88 car. Two more cars hard in the wall behind them. One is Hornish. Someone has run underneath the five car, it looks the like. The others Reed Sorensen, and Mears ends up on his roof. It's Hornish. Sam Hornish in the 77, because I knew the car just picked up off the ground all yeah. of a sudden. I didn't even, you couldn't even see Hornish from our uh, angle. Dale Jr. okay after running into his Hendrick Chevy teammate. Boy, there's a fire over there, guys. They get boys need to get out of those things. And I'm really worried. Here comes Casey Good. Sam Hornish moving around in his car. Very quick work by the Auto Club Speedway rescue officials and NASCAR officials. He's up high and he just loses it there. Comes down right. Just clipped Dale Earnhardt Jr. Got turned him around. But now this is when it really is bizarre. Watch, watch this. Hornish already had damage and the hood was up so he could, high he couldn't see out couldn't of the windshield, see. I don't think. Now watch Junior in the 88 come into this. Ooh. Get clipped, knocking the right side sheet metal off and banging the left side. Now all drivers involved are okay. Still inside the 12 there. Stay low, stay low. We're in it there. He got the right side door from the rear tire back. Now we saw uh, from the, the snail's trail on the track that Hornish's car wouldn't stop or steer as he got underneath mirrors. It was dropping a lot of fluid and ended up just tumbling him over. Yeah, that is bizarre. You could see how high the hood was already buckled up on Sam Hornish's car. Mears was just sitting there, sit, almost sitting still. Sit there and watch that car before you go through there. It, it, it works on your mind. Michael McDowell, only his second NASCAR Sprint Cup Series start. He finished 26 at Martinsville. But he made his NASCAR debut here in what was the Bush Series last November. Started 17th, finished 20th. He was actually 29th quickest earlier. He said a 29-14. This car yeah. is locked into the show. It just walked up the hill big time. It bottomed out. That thing did a little turkey walk right up the track. Now this car is locked in the show based on where David Rudiman brought it in the point standings prior to Rudiman getting out of this car, moving into the 44 to replace the now retired Dale Jarrett in the UPS car. There was some talk of whether the team whether the team could switch points. Whoa, 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 guys, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I have never seen anything like that in my life. He hit that wall a ton. Oh, my gosh. Michael's moving around in the car. My goodness, that car just hooked, went straight, straight. in. It did, that, it did that hook and go up the hill, man. And that was a incredibly hard impact look at, the look, at that, look at that safer barrier right there how it just crushed all that stuff that that is good though oh, that no, means it's that great. thing moved it's great it's just incredible how hard it hit and then then the flipping helped the car dissipate the remaining energy parts flying off it he look is at out that. of that oh, look at that goodness. and That's, wave to the fans my goodness that says so much for these race cars, it says so much for what these racetracks have done with this safer barrier. That is unbelievable. And he walked away and waved to the crowd. My goodness. That was unbelievable. I, I haven't seen a wreck like that anywhere lately. And certainly not with, with these cars. I've never seen one of these COT platforms take a hit like this. Let's take a look. I think you're going to see him get loose the minute oh, he yeah. turns down into the corner. Yeah, and he's just, man, and that thing just absolutely. I will guarantee you that impact was well over 180, probably 185 miles per hour. We've already seen 199 or better getting in there going straight. It's a part of the racetrack. Gosh. Oh, oh I, I, I can't even hardly watch that. It's a part of the racetrack, but Murray said was a little slick getting in. 
Not knowing if Michael changed his line a little bit, got a little too much into that speedy drive. Oh, my Lord. But that he walked away and waited to the crowd while walking to the ambulance after that impact is a great testament to safety of these cars and these racetracks today. If there's been any fans, if there's been anybody in our industry that has questioned the car tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at this guy that walked out of that race car. Can Kozlowski try to win it? I don't know. I don't think he can step out until he waits till the last second and picks he up. Goes he goes to the other side. Is Edwards going to oh, go? No. He turns it. No, no. Oh, and that no. destroyed the front end of Newman's car. No. Edwards will not make it to the flag. Oh, Brad no. Keselowski won this race. Unbelievable. Carl Edwards' car destroyed, and Junior's protege, Keselowski, the winner, and Carl Edwards is moving around and ready to climb out. But watch, the 09's going to look to the outside where he already has. Carl went up to block him a little bit. Now he's going to come down to try to block him again, and you get one shot at it, but you don't get two. Watch this. What a lick. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Unbelievable. You know, and, and looking very carefully at the catch fencing that held, and I did not see any debris go into the grandstand, uh, and that certainly is unbelievable. It's very gratifying to see. No, oh, got trouble getting into three, guys. Joey Logano. Big crash. Oh, he's oh, up down. Over and over, Logano goes between three and four. Hmm, no. The car will come back to rest on all four tires. Heavy, heavy crash here on lap 32. See Robbie Gordon, Martin Truex, Reed Sorensen involved in this. I looked up, saw the 20 car on the apron getting into the corner. See the crew here, they're trying to see the replay. You know it's going to be bad right here when he comes up in front of traffic. Reed Sorensen makes the impact. Scott Speed got a piece of it also. The car is actually going backwards when it starts to lift up and go over and begin to tumble. Yeah, it's just being pushed, and, and as he kind of dug in a little bit, and, and it was uh, continued to get pushed there, that's what got it up and rolling. And you hear what you talk about how high the banks are here, and you see he's just tumbling down that bank. There's so much height difference right there from the top of the bank down to the apron. Three stories, the difference between the top and the bottom, 24 degree height. Just side over side over side, a violent impact. And the good news that the, this new car that NASCAR brought on about three years ago, and the driver able to walk away uh, and walk into the ambulance. We've heard, oh, here's a car oh. upside down. Big time crash upside oh, down. Oh, Ryan Newman. See Kevin Harvick there, Marcus Am Ambrose. Ambrose is there, comes across, Harvick stops, and Newman's car comes to rest upside down on its roof. Again, here's the accident. Five laps to go at Talladega. Chain reaction. The 14 gets in the wall. 39 contact with the 29, and suddenly he is airborne and comes to rest right on the, the hood of the 29 car of Harvick right there. And then across the racetrack, the pirouette and the roll. Well, Elliot Sandler did a nice job to get his car woe down and not just hit that 39 coming up across the racetrack. Sure did. We told you at the beginning of the day how difficult it is for the wives to watch their husbands get in these cars and risk it all at 200 miles an hour. No, oh, here goes Kurt Busch around. Oh, crash behind you, crash, crash. crash. Oh, oh Mark's upside down. Upside Mark, down. Mark, Mark Martin is over on his roof, back on his wheel. Into the wall. Casey Mears, Rudiman is there, Reagan is there, Robbie Gordon, Jeff Gordon. See Montoya driving through the grass. Let's show you again here, coming down for the white flag at a turn four. Uh, looks like Keselowski got into the two a little too hard, but Jimmy Johnson just in front of that 82 car, you can see sneaks by there. 
along with Michael Waltrip. Quite Keselowski was actually getting a little bit of a shove from behind, too, from Brian Vickers. Kind of a stack up that caused it. And Mark Martin went completely over on his roof, back over on the wheels, came and hit the outside wall and slid down across the grass. Oval first oval track win. He won it in Finneon 96 races ago on the road course. And who Half do a you second. And the 99 has turned over Brad Keselowski. And we have a caution. My goodness. Uh, I don't know if I'm okay. Kozlowski was on track for a sixth place finish. Boy, and we're told there was contact between Edwards and Kozlowski. And have we seen that somewhere once before? Talladega last year and early in this race at lap 41. A little crossover move here by Carl. Clean here, clean here. Just slight contact. Oh, Look at that gosh. thing go. That looks so much like Edwards turnover at, at Talladega, Talladega off the bumper of Keselowski. It really did. And, and I'm, I'm I'm so wondering and hoping that when they put the spoiler back on these cars, they'll quit turning over like this. Keselowski's put the window net down. The roof flaps deployed. But it did not sit that car back down. I'm like you, Daryl. I'm going to be so glad to see that rear spoiler back on these cars. I think that's a, it's got to be something to that. That car took a hard hit in the left A pillar, the windshield post right in front of the driver. You see, you just see how that wing sticks out so far out the back of the car, behind the car. It almost looks if it'll create downforce with the car going forward, it's got to create a pocket of air behind it when it gets around backwards. Guys. You saw it right there. Those white gloves, they made a turn to the right. Brad Kozlowski has climbed out of his Penske Dodge. White flag. White flag is out. 2.6 miles to go. Oh, trouble, trouble. The big one on the digger, on his lid. Side over side, Stay end over Stay end. Stay end. Stay end. Stay Kevin Harvick's going to win this race. He actually ended this race. And Jimmy Johnson got out of shape first there, but saves it. And right behind him, everybody starts getting together. Looks like Tony Stewart. Forces Almendinger upside down. Boy, and that, thank goodness the safer barriers on that inside wall. Yeah, and we've seen in past that when something happens behind the leaders that NASCAR has let these guys race. Oh, oh big oh. crash in turn number two, David Ruderman. Still green. Oh, looks like Tony Stewart out through the grass in the inner loop. And back through traffic. Caution is out. Is out. Race out. is over. Marco Zambros is your winner. And Tony Stewart is up against the guardrail. Wow. Oh, goodness. Six gets it's like, oh, oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Wow. Like Boris said, got into the six car. David Reagan. Oh, my goodness. That's a hard lick for David Reagan. But this. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Ron Fellow is also into the wall in that.
Jimmy Johnson's car destroyed. You see Jeff down there, he just gets down on this left corner and we've seen that time and time and time again. You gotta stay off the left side. What do we do about that though, man? How do we fix it? The drivers just have to make the decision that they've gotta lay off that left side. Look at this long slide for Gordon. And that's Kurt Busch tangled up with him and Jimmy Johnson. And that car still hasn't uh, lost much of its momentum as it goes side over side and comes to rest Michael on made its roof. A really good point, though, Mike. These cars are so much bigger than the cars were five years ago. 